It is 11.03 a.m. and the business meeting of the 68th West Coast Science Fantasy Conference will be in order. A quorum is observed to be present. The special order of business of this meeting is the announcement of site selection results. Would the site selection administrator please come to the mic and read us the results. There were a total of 72 ballots cast, four were for write-ins uh, that did not have any paperwork filed, six were no preference, two none of the above, and 60 people voted for Tempe, which I think is pretty much a landslide. Are there any questions of the administrator? If hearing none, without objection, the administrator is thanked for her efforts and that of her team and is instructed to uh, destroy the ballots. Hearing none, uh, hang on just a second here. No, you do have to turn it on. There we go. It's on now. You didn't turn the switch on. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Sorry about that. Gonna... Let's try that again. There, be, there being no objection, the administrator is thanked for efforts and is instructed to destroy the ballots. The results of the election are final. Congratulations, Tempe. Thank you. Is there a representative of the now seated Westercon uh, 70 here to give a presentation? Yes, if you would please come up front and address and use the microphone. No, you, you, can, you, can, you can come to the, if you want. You can, you can just take the microphone off the stand if you like. I don't sing karaoke very well. That's. Make sure the switch is on, yes. And then the speaker. Hi, testing. I'm here. Yeah, there I am. Hi. Um, what exactly should I be saying? Hi, my name is... Oh, hi, my name is Dee. How are you today? i got a captive audience here, so, you know. <laughs> I am now the, the, I guess, the new chair of Leprechaun 70 2017. Leprechaun Westercon. 70. Sorry, last week was Leprechaun. <laughs> Westercon 70 um, 2017. Um, if anybody is interested, we will be selling uh, memberships out at the table where they were doing the voting. Or, huh? would you like? Uh, could you perhaps? Uh, it, uh, first of all, uh, just some of the basic questions. Yes, thank Are you. you intending to have a separate name for your convention, or just WesterCon Seventy? Uh, we will be running the separate name of Conalope. Conalope. Okay. Conalope. <laughs> and the second thing is, who are your guests of honor? Um, Currently, we only have one guest of honor. That's a local guest of uh, local author guest of honor, which will be Jeannie Koch. Okay, and I uh, presume a potentially more guests to be announced later. Yes, yes. there will be. We will uh, also have progress report zero. Progress that will report, be at the table. At progress report zero will be available at your table. Yes, it will be. There, you'll at your table. You'll be selling memberships. Yes, we and will see. Uh, am I right that uh, those people who both voted and pre-supported your bid are automatic attending members? Correct. Okay. Uh, but if you only voted or you only pre-supported, you have a supporting membership in the convention and have to uh, convert it. Yeah, you can upgrade it to... You can upgrade that to an attending membership, right. and then you could just buy a flat new attending membership. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you, uh, you actually need to speak more. You need to bring the microphone. You see how close my microphone is? Yeah. Right, no, right much closer. Down. Much closer. Yes, yeah. that is much better. Usually yes, I'm warned I'm you. too loud when I do that. Yes, I know it <laughs> seems very loud to you, but it's not. Thank you. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Could you give your name again for the record? I am D. Estelle, A-S-T-E-L-L. -L. A -S -T -E -L -L. Correct. All right. There we go. I believe that's the basic information. Have I missed any of the basic questions? Who's the guest of honor? And the, okay. Uh, could, uh, that would be Jeannie Conch. She will be the local... I'll get it from you later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. And she'll be the local author, guest of local honor. Local author, guest of honor, yes. Correct. Just hand her the yes, PR zero. She can get the information off Thank of you. it that way. Then. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that basic information out of the way, unless you have, do you have any specific announcements you'd like to make associated with it? The dates, dates again are the Saturday the first to Tuesday the fourth. Saturday the first through Tuesday, July fourth, uh, two thousand seventeen. Correct. Yes. All right. Are there any questions? Party tonight at eight, folks. Congratulations. In that case, then. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck with your WesterCon. Thank you.
yes, the secretary needs to catch up just a short bit here. That concludes site selection business. There are no items of business uh, passed on to this Westercon from last year for ratification. Are there any items of new business? Mr. Yallo, if you'd come, all speakers need to come to the microphone to be heard. Switch on. Just leave, the switch. You leave it on when you walk away, by the way. So. Mr. Chairman, I move to amend Section 2.3 of the Westercon Constitution by replacing 15 with 7. Is there, this is a motion to reduce the quorum, the minimum number of members needed to be present to do business, from 15 to 7 members. Is there a second to the motion? There is a second. Uh, let me see here. It has been several years since we actually amended the bylaws. I just wanted to make sure on something here. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, is there any debate on this motion? Mr. Yallo, as the maker of the motion, you have preference to speak in favor of it. Every year we go through the rigmarole of dragging the corridors or delaying the start of the business meeting, waiting for a quorum. I believe that a quorum of seven is sufficient to ensure that we don't have... Face the audience, please. I believe that a quorum of seven is sufficient to ensure that nothing happens with nobody cares. You know, we don't want the Constitution to be amended by a one to zero vote or something like that. Um, but on the other hand, I hate the delay that we have every year and hoping that the winning committee will have enough people there to hand out PR0 and make a quorum for us. Therefore, uh, seven should be more than enough. Thank you. Is there, uh, members who wish to speak in debate, unless they have a physical disability that prevents a need to, team to, need to rise, anyone wish to speak against? Mr. Kvalchik, if you please come to the microphone, speak directly into the microphone and face the audience. Rick Kowalczyk, um, I actually think seven is too low. Um, I'd be in favor of something like 10. So I, I think if you can't get 10, there's something seriously wrong. And if you have to wait five minutes, well, there's a lot of smoffing that goes on anyway. I don't think that's particularly bad. And it's uh, now- Mr. Kowalczyk, uh, are you uh, moving to create a blank in the motion to amend and so that we can uh, discuss various different numbers besides seven? Sure. Is there a second to the motion to create a blank? Okay. This motion is undebatable. Although, is there any objection to creating a blank that would allow us to debate to have different numbers? Hearing, uh, hearing, hearing none, there's no, uh, a blank is created. Mr. Kowalczyk has suggested 10. The original number was 7. Are there any other suggested numbers for filling the blank? Nine. Nine. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a moment here. Um, I, while, before I go on with this process, not everybody is fully familiar with the method of filling blanks unless you regularly attend the Bay Area Science Fiction Association meetings. Uh, we, we, the, we will have the various numbers suggested, and then we will vote yes, no on each of them, starting with the largest number working downward. And the first item to get a majority in favor of it will fill the blank. It will not actually amend the motion. It will just, it will, it will just say this is the number we're going to debate whether we should change it to. Uh, if you are in favor of one of the smaller numbers, you must vote against the larger numbers. Each of them is a separate yes, no question. Is there any question on how this procedure works? Hearing none, the numbers that have been proposed so far are 10, 9, and 7. Are there any other suggestions? Eleven. All right. It's okay. We have eleven, ten, nine, and seven. Are there any other numbers that people wish to insert into the blank? Okay. Hearing none, we will cut, bring it to a vote. The largest of the numbers is eleven. All those in favor of uh, filling the blank with eleven, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed. Mm, the negative has it. That is not chosen. All those in favor of ten, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. The affirmative appears to have it. 
The affirmative has it and the blank is filled with 10. The question now before the meeting is to amend section 2.3, which is the quorum requirement, by striking out 15 and inserting 10. It, yes? Question. Question? The, uh, a, an inquiry on the was, does the number 10 include the chair? Assuming the chairman of the meeting is a member of the Westercon, it does. It includes every natural person attending the meeting who is a member of the convention, who has been given voting rights by the convention. Sorry, Kuma Bear. Uh, in, is there any further debate on the question of uh, striking out 15 and inserting 10, either for or against it? Hearing none, we'll vote on it. On the, uh, this will not fill it immediately. Uh, this, adopting this will require the motion to be sent to next year's Westercon for ratification. Uh, next year's Westercon cannot, cannot modify that number. They, if they do so, they'll simply restart the clock on uh, uh, the, uh, the ratification process. All those in favor of amending the Westercon bylaw section 2.3 regarding the quorum, reducing it from 15 to 10 by striking out 15 and inserting 10, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? Hands down. The affirmative has it. The amendment is passed and is passed on to Westercon 69 for uh, ratification. Is there any further business to come before the Westercon business meeting? Is there any objection to adjourning at this time? Hearing none, at, uh, at 11.15, are there any specifically business meeting related announcements? We can do other general announcements after adjournment. Hearing none. Uh, at 11.15 a.m., the business meeting of the 68th West Coast Science Fantasy Conference stands as adjourned. Thank you. All right. How many of you are prepared to stick around for a few minutes to do